Alright, what is up guys, Chinoman1129 here, bringing you some Gears of War 3. Um, yeah, uh, I am playing uh, some quick, king, quick match King of the Hill on Sandbar with a couple of my friends. Um, this is mostly pretty much a sniping game. Um, and I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, fucking... Um, Sniping in this game is just so much better. It's so much more fun now. Like, um, in times where I wish I was recording, I have gotten some pretty sick multi kills, some pretty sweet shots, and yeah. Um, I want to talk about um, pretty much the first week of the game, um, of my experience of it. Uh, I want to warn you guys. Um, this is uh, pretty much like uh, there. There will be some spoilers here and there, as I'll be talking a little bit about the campaign. As I rack up a sweet multi kill right here, yeah. Um. So first off, the campaign. Uh, wow. The cam the campaign honestly was um. It was really well done. I have to say that. But it was just, like, knowing it was the end, and how they executed it and stuff, um, it was pretty damn sad. Like, um, like, I didn't cry to it at all. Uh, I mean, uh, like, I know it was very emotional and stuff, but honestly, I've, I, I, don't, I've, I think I've yet to cry uh, to a video game. I mean, I've done it on anime, but not on a video game yet. Um, I've yet to find a see find a game that'll uh, at least make me do that. But yeah, the campaign it was really really good. Um, some parts were kind of tedious um, and hard also, um, but overall it was pretty fun. Especially playing with um, uh, my three friends. Uh, and speaking of um, three friends. Uh, about my let's play about my let's play of uh, of um, the game on four player co op. Uh, I'm pretty. Uh, I think I'm. I think I'm going to. Uh, um, let's see. I think I'm gonna make the uploads at hopefully at least two to three a week because <laughs> that was a nice headshot right there. Uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna make the uploads at least two or three a week, um, mainly because I am playing this game a shit ton, and I <laughs> I kind of have like um, almost no time to well, not no no time. I'm just kind of lazy to like be rendering all the footage that I got from a uh, campaign and uploading it onto YouTube. Um, I, I did uh, finish recording the campaign though, so all I all I need left is just to uh, render the videos and just upload them. Um, probably take like about um, I'm guessing at least two to four hours per video. Uh, that includes the rendering and uploading. So yeah, um, and nice headshot right there. <laughs> Get done. Uh, let's see what else. What else? Um, horde mode. Yeah, I want to talk about horde mode for a bit. Um, ah, definitely, definitely, it is definitely way much better than uh, than Gears of War 2's horde mode. Uh, so much improvement. So much stuff to do. The boss waves uh, can get pretty exciting uh, and challenging. Um, yeah, and the Horde 2.0 is really challenging, even on casual. Uh, like, just one fuck up um, can uh, can turn the tide of uh, the game. I mean, uh, uh, wow, just Horde. Yeah, I don't even know what to say. Horde, Horde, Horde is pretty damn fun. Uh, I gotta admit. Um, it's probably my second favorite uh, mode in that game. Uh, recently, I just beat Horde on Insane, but 
not legitimately like without all the mutators and crap uh speaking of mutators uh if you remember kind of well not remember uh i mean actually um mutators are are like similar to skulls in uh in the Halo uh, series, if um, any of you have played that, um, they uh, modify um, the campaign in Halo for Gears Mutators. It modifies the both the campaign, um, the arcade campaign, where you uh, compete for the highest score, um, and it also affects Horde mode as well. Um, the so far I've only locked about. Let's see here. I think three mutators, one is uh, where, oh no, four mutators now, I think, uh, one is where, um, or is it, I think it's five now, I can't remember, but yeah, I think I've unlocked that many mutators, one is uh, where, um, there's fun mutators, there's, and, uh, there's, uh, ex and then uh, there's uh, experience modifier mutators, um, uh, two different uh, types of experience modifiers. One is um, it makes the game harder, and the other one is just to make the game easier. So yeah, um, the fun one. Uh, it's called uh, Headless Chicken, I think, or something along those lines. Uh, basically, uh, you shoot an enemy in the head, and uh, they search another uh, of their. The enemy search one of the, searches one of their allies and starts attacking them. Um, uh, kind of like a headless chicken, except not in the attacking sense, but like how they, but how supposedly they're still alive uh, when, when the when a chicken's like when a chicken's head's been cut off, and uh, see other ones. Uh, I got there's a friendly fire mutator. I think you know what that mean, what that does. Um, there's a. Uh, uh, oh, I can't remember the other one. Uh, and then the e uh, modifiers that make it easier. Uh, let's see here. Oh yeah, I've only unlocked one uh, easy uh, modifier. Uh, it's uh, it's basically a one-hit uh, melee kill. Uh, nice headshot right there. Um, you basically hit someone, hit an enemy with just uh, one melee. And they just turn to chunks. They blow up. It's pretty damn cool. Um, me and a friend, me and my friends were uh, doing it on Horde, um, uh, <laughs> and it's funny because during the boss waves of it, uh, we hit, uh, we just one hit, one hit melee the boss, and they're just in they just instantly die. It's pretty damn cool. So, but um. The experience cost is greatly, it's like 25% experience loss. Oh, I almost died there. Oh. Yeah, 25% experience loss when you use that uh, mutator. But, um, surprisingly, um, mutators do not void the achievements for Horde or any of the medals for Horde. Uh, I don't know if they'll patch it or not. I'm kind of hoping they do they don't that way I can at least get the onyx medals faster or some crap like that since um me me and a couple of friends not not uh not uh my party here but um one of my some of my other friends and his friends uh yesterday uh we partied up wait was it yesterday yeah it was yesterday yesterday uh we partied up played horror on insane um with uh with the one hit kill one hit melee modifier and um uh the dude also had a super active reload modifier which um when you get a perfect active reload uh you basically uh like the flashing ammo part of the of the little weapon screen on the top right uh thing um basically um uh, your bullets do more damage, uh, and, uh, I guess you kind of have, like, unlimited ammo for a while, while the, while the thing is flashing, and once you finish up that flashing part of the ammo thing, um, you're just back to your regular damage ammo stuff, and if you want to get it again, you just have to get a perfect active reload, and, 
Active reloads are kind of hard uh, to do consistently now in this game. Um, it's mainly for balancing issues, but uh, I don't really mind that. It's it, it's good for the balance of the game, and yeah, this game is pretty damn balanced so far. Uh, what else? Beast mode, beast mode, beast mode, beast mode. Um, it's I I'd say it's pretty fun. Um, it gets uh it's it's not it's not that great but it's pretty fun uh it's only 12 waves though uh i don't have much time to talk about beast mode but yeah i went 15 and 0 pretty much using only the sniper on this map as i reached level 60 and this is pretty much in a week's worth of game gaming so yeah so yeah um that'll be it for this video hope you guys enjoyed it See you later.